Good evening. I'm Congressman Jerry Nadler. I'm chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. With me are four members of the committee, uh, Madeline Dean of Pennsylvania, Ted Deutsch of Florida, Val Demings of Florida, and uh, Hakeem Jeffries of New York, who is also the chairman of the Democratic Caucus. The Attorney General appears to be waging a media campaign on behalf of President Trump, the very uh, subject of the investigation at the heart of the Mueller report. Rather than letting the facts of the report speak for themselves, the Attorney General has taken unprecedented steps to spin Mueller's nearly two-year investigation. One, he summarized the report and cherry-picked findings in his March 24th letter to Congress. Two, he withheld summaries written by the special counsel that were intended for public consumption. Three, he has briefed the White House on the report before providing Congress a copy, which has helped them prepare a rebuttal response for the President. And now, the evening before the report's scheduled release, the Department of Justice has informed the committee that it will receive a copy between 11 a.m. and noon, well after the Attorney General's 9.30 a.m. press conference. This is wrong. It is contrary to the Attorney General's own words to the committee. Quote, I do not believe it would be in the public's interest for me to attempt to summarize the full report or to release it in serial or piecemeal fashion. Close quote. It now appears the Attorney General intends to once again put his own spin on the investigative work completed by the special counsel and his team. The fact that the Attorney General is not releasing even the redacted report to Congress until after his press conference will again result in the report being presented through his own words rather than through the words of Special Counsel Mueller. The central concern here is that the Attorney General Barr is not allowing the facts of the Mueller report to speak for themselves, but is trying to bake in the narrative about the report to the benefit of the White House. And of course, he's doing this just before the holiday weekend, so it's extraordinarily difficult for anybody to react. This is wrong. It is not the proper role of the Attorney General. I should add one other thing. The Department of Justice, in a court filing in the Roger Stone case today, said that some members of Congress may get access to some of the redacted information only for use in secret. The Judiciary Committee has no knowledge of this, and this should not be read as any agreement or knowledge or, um, um, or, or, or assent on our part. Thank you very much. Oh, we'll take a couple of questions. That's right. You, I have a question. You, are you satisfied with the DOJ saying that there will be two versions, one with fewer re redactions for the limited number of members of Congress? We are certainly not uh, satisfied with that. We've repeatedly said what is demanded by the situation, and that is that the Judiciary Committee be given the entire report and the underlying evidence uh, so that we can make those judgments for ourselves. And the Judiciary Committee can, as has been the case in prior situations, decide which limited portions of the report might have to be kept secret so as not to reveal sources and methods of intelligence or for some other legitimate reason. But that's a decision for the Committee to make not for the Attorney General or the Administration. Yes. We'll take one more question. Uh, Congressman, when do you plan to issue subpoenas for Mueller or anyone else for that matter? Well, we'll have to take the time over the next couple of days to carefully read the redacted report so that we, so that we, we don't find out that, in fact, it, there's very little left out. But on the assumption that it's heavily redacted, we will most certainly uh, issue the uh, uh, subpoenas in very short order. Thank you very much, Did everybody. You I'll answer that. We probably, I assume we'll probably find it uh, useful to ask Mueller to testify, and I assume we may ask uh, members of, of, of his team to testify. But we'll have to make those decisions after reading what we get, as, as inadequate as that may be. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You. Thank you.